Traveling abroad, you'll need a travel adapter to use your electronics. However, attempting to understand the difference between travel adapters, converters, and voltage conversion is extremely confusing. We're here to help. Watch this video on voltage converters vs travel adapters for simplified explanation. There are two very important things you need to know about traveling with electronics. First, the plug you use at home may not work in a wall socket when traveling because different countries have different plug shapes. Second, you can't use some of your electronics while traveling unless they are dual voltage because countries such as the USA and Canada have 120V electricity while destinations in Europe have 220V electricity. One reader sums up the difference perfectly, in simple terms. The adapter makes your device fit in the holes. The converter changes the electric power going into it. Just remember that they are two different devices. There's no such thing as a travel adapter converter. This is when you need to know the difference between adapter and converter. Here, we explain the popular adapter vs converter question. What is voltage? Voltage refers to electricity. Different countries have different types of electricity, meaning you need to consider voltage conversion. This means that your electronics are the same voltage as the country in which you bought them, so if you take them to another country, they may not work. If you plug a 120V device into a wall socket that's meant for 220V, or vice versa, you will blow out a fuse in your device and possibly also the building. Your hair tools such as blow dryers, wands, curling irons, and straighteners use up a large amount of electricity, so it's particularly important that they are used with the correct voltage. In order to travel with your electronics and hair tools, you need two things for the item to be dual voltage and you'll also need to use a travel adapter so your plug can fit into the sockets in another country. Or, you need a voltage converter, which we'll talk about later. What is dual voltage? Some electronics are designed so they can be used in different countries. This means they'll be labeled as dual voltage. Dual voltage electronics have two options. 110-120V and 220-240V. They are ideal for travel because they are safe to use at home and abroad. 2. Some electronics, such as your MacBooks and iPhones have dual voltage that automatically adjust in their destination. However, you may need to adjust the voltage manually by moving an external switch in certain items such as hair tools. If your device is in dual voltage, you're better off leaving it at home. However, most modern devices such as phones and laptops already have a dual voltage capability built in. How do travel adapters work? A travel adapter, sometimes called a travel plug converter, enables you to plug your electronics into walls with different sockets than the one used by your country. Not all countries use the same type of plug, so I recommend you buy an international adapter. The US uses a plug with two flat vertical prongs, whereas the UK uses a plug with one top vertical prong and two bottom horizontal prongs. You need a travel adapter so your plug fits into the socket of a different country. You can buy individual travel adapters for each country you plan to visit or you can just buy one international travel adapter that will work for most parts of the world. How do converters work? So what is a voltage converter exactly? If it's not the same thing as a travel adapter, then what is it? If your electronics are not dual voltage, an international power converter, also called a transformer, voltage adapter, or international voltage converter could be used. However, voltage converters tend to be large, heavy devices so they are less practical for travel. If your device is in dual voltage, it requires a converter so it's best to leave it at home, particularly if it's a hair tool. Because blow dryers and flat irons require a large amount of power, look for products with dual voltage options. Keep in mind that this does not guarantee your hair styling tool will work as well abroad as it does at home even with the dual voltage setting. As one reader says, I wouldn't recommend using a hair dryer with a travel power converter. It's very likely you will still blow a fuse, or worse, knock out power for half the hotel. You could also fry your device by doing this. Can I use my hair dryer or straightener abroad? If it's dual voltage, yes. Because blow dryers and flat irons, straighteners require a large amount of power. Look for products with dual voltage options. Keep in mind that this not guarantee your hair styling tool will work as well broad as it does at home, even with the dual voltage setting. Flat irons may be okay, but hair dryers tend to experience more issues. One reader says, you definitely need a dual voltage for a hair dryer. You can use 240 volt hair tongs on 110 setting. It just takes longer, but you can do it the other way around. A hair dryer will simply blow up and fuse the place too. My ex did that and it fused the entire chalet. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.